I've always had a love for magic, sleight of hand and not really knowing how it was done or what comes next. I've always had a love for food. Some of the things that we do with food. Soup in a bonbon. Mm. We disguise what it is. A little Italian dinner. Mm. But then you have a taste and you're like, wow. How do you do it? How did they do that? Welcome to our lab. And here we come up with all the crazy dishes you're gonna enjoy tonight. Oh my gosh, tastes like a Caesar salad. Welcome to Eculent Restaurant, one of the best restaurants you've probably never heard of. My name is Chef David Skinner. I'm the owner of Eculent Restaurant in Kima, Texas. Could I come up with a restaurant that no one had ever done? That was the whole genesis of Eculent. Growing up in Oklahoma, my earliest memories are being in the garden with my grandmother, something I still remember to this day. She was a great cook and a great teacher. When I was 12, I went through the entire Julia Child French cookbook, and it took a couple of years to kind of work through it. When I was 16, my grandmother owned a, a shop called The Wire Whisk, and she's like, you know, we could carve out some space back there. You could put in a little kind of bistro or something. It was a very fun time because my grandfather and I kind of built it out. The restaurant was called La Vie en Rose. After college, I gave up cooking professionally for about 30 years. I'd still do crazy dinner parties for friends and love cooking. Kima kind of became our home. Really enjoyed kind of that laid back kind of life. When I decided to open the restaurant, what I was after all along was sort of this idea of you, you came to my house for a dinner party. We've now gone from 16 seats to six. With just six people, it gives us the creative control that we can adjust things kind of on the fly. The new menu is gonna be 40 courses. Basically a little farm cocktail. Celery, onions, and carrots, all as microgreens, but they're gonna have the full flavor of that vegetable. We also have edible soil. Add that to your mix. We're going to let you put it in a French press you're gonna let it steep for a few minutes, press it, that's your first cocktail. You know, we're the only restaurant um, in the US and you know one of very few in the entire world where our atmosphere is dynamic. I feel like I'm getting more of the edible soil. Yeah. So we start off with the tree coming alive and then the tree's gonna tell you which courses to take next. It's like a little game, I love this. So depending upon what mood we want you to be in or how we want you to feel when you're eating that course, we will alter it. The artwork is all digital and it's all choreographed to go with the meal. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We built some of our own systems. We can control the lighting. We can control the smell. I have a fabulous music director. And so I said, this really is like a film. Whoa. I want them to feel like they're in a forest. Oh my gosh. He is a bit of a mad scientist. Uh, some have compared him to things like Willy Wonka and such. That's the fun of this entire restaurant. And it's not just with the food, it's with lighting, the smell, mm. the presentation, every bit of it. It's just completely not anything you ever expected, and it's the most delicious thing you've ever eaten. There's all kinds of wonderful modern techniques and tools that people can use to create that wow factor. So we built a lab where we have things like freeze dryers and rotav apps and centrifuges. We'll take people through the food lab before dinner. We will show you some things that demystify a little bit of what it is that we're doing. But I think in the end, it actually enhances the experience because they know, hey, this isn't just a bunch of chemicals. Oh my gosh, it melts in my mouth. That is cool. We won't tell them all the secrets, but you know, if you can show them, here's a simple little card trick. Don't worry about the floating lady in the background, right? Mm -hmm. This is a sentimental course to me because uh, my grandmother got me cooking when I was about four. And this was one of the favorite things she used to make for me when I was a little boy. 
which is a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich in one bite. They pop it in their mouth, and I always tell people, close your eyes when you're eating it, and just see what emotions it brings up, what, what you feel. Where did the lettuce come from? Tastes like the freshest tomato. That, to me, is what we do. That's the wow. Every single meal has surprised me and it's opened up a lot of senses and flavor that I just didn't really even knew existed and I, I'm just really blown away. Yeah. It's yeah. like eating a campfire. Mm. The only thing you can come in here expecting is the unexpected after you've been through it. It's been a complete sensory overload in the best way. And if you think about magic, I went and I saw this incredible illusion, but I have no idea how they did it. I had this incredible gastronomic experience. Oh my God. Huh? And I have no idea how they pulled it off. That's what makes us different. That's what makes us eculent.